Hey, hey peeps. So um, I decided to do a little bit of a DIY project because I got this pot and it was super, super cheap. It was like something like 50% off and it was like a euro 20 or something like that. So I grabbed it because I thought it was nice and I liked the shape, but um, yeah, it's pretty fugly. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not digging, um, I'm not digging the whole flower sloppily printed all over this in multiple languages. It looks really, eh, bleh. So I thought, well, I have some paint, so, um, can't make it look much worse. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's do an upcycle. So I've, uh, kind of upside down because I figured it was easier to do it like this. I've got this very fancy plastic lid to use as my um, palette. I have my white decor, uh, I think it's yeah, hobby paint to paint over this and a brush. I'm not even sure if it's the right kind but it's all I've got so uh, let's, let's roll with this. So I've already um, cleaned it off, scrubbed it down all the dirt off of it so um let's let's put a layer of paint on this guy i think this angle is okay so um oh lovely so i'm just gonna get my uh paint there let's pull this back a little bit okay here goes nothing let's let's paint this um yeah. that seems to be nice it's thick Covering all the ugliness. I think I'll have to do a couple of coats, but I think the idea I wanted to do with this is kind of not just leave it white, although I think that would probably look cool. But I'm not down for plain, boring white, so I think once this is dried, and it looks uh, nice. I think I'm going to uh, paint some funky patterns on it because I've got some acrylic paints. So why not be super duper creative? See what happens. I might even surprise myself. Yeah, I've painted glass before, but uh, nothing, nothing like this. Let's do the front here. take too long to dry. It's not like I've put it on a super thick layer. Just making sure I've got everything covered. But yeah, I'm definitely going to need more than one layer. I'm splashing paint everywhere, so I'm going to have to clean up once I finish this coat. I'm going to switch my internet off on my phone too, but uh, let it. Hi, whoever that is. I can't see who it is, but hi. We'll respond in a bit. Okay. And uh, let's just do the bottom here. You can't see because it's off screen, but uh, I'll show you a shot of the first coat. good so far but definitely uh, a second coat I think so I'm just gonna flip the camera around so you guys can see what's going on and how it's looking okay so here we are you can kind of see the print still underneath so I think two maybe three coats 
And there's the bottom. Two, maybe three coats. And uh, it should be okay. And we can uh, start maybe getting some patterns on there. I'm thinking of what funky, funky design to do it in. So I'm just going to leave that dry and uh, we'll catch up in a little bit. Okay, so I've got the second coat down, but I don't know if you can see just there. I'm still making out um, faint outlines of the ugly flower print. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to put a third coat on there. But um, oh, it's, uh, yeah, I'm not uh, going to show me putting all of the base layers on because then this video is going to, oh, I'm sorry, I'm out of shot here. Because then the video is going to be like way too long. But I will show um, the pattern painting because I think that's going to be fun. Uh, so I'm just going to figure out how exactly I want to do this while I'm waiting for this to dry. And uh, yeah, we'll see where this goes, peeps. Okay, so after a bit of m and r -ing, the base coat dried and I got, um, yeah, I got my pencil out <laughs> and done a preliminary funky pattern design on the pot here. So I think that looks kind of cool. I think I'm going to go with this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and set up the camera and um, get some colour on here so we can really psychedelic this pop up. Okay, so uh, sorry if the angle isn't brilliant, but this is the best I could kind of get it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, adding some colour. So I thought, why not start with red? I'm going to go with kind of... I don't know, a rainbow effect, I guess. So we'll start with one colour at a time and see how this goes. Uh, let's start here. I think kind of like having alternating shades of the colour on one layer and building up, kind of, that's kind of what I had in mind anyway. But I feel so derpy doing this. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing exactly, but I've got to hold the pot. I don't think it's uh, the best angle for the camera, but eh. I hope this doesn't look terrible. <laughs> you know, when you're um, always starting a project, you always kind of doubt yourself. Which is kind of cool, so, eh, kind of cool if you surprise yourself and it looks amazing, but uh, yeah, we'll see. You could go one of two ways, I suppose. I'm chatting shit. Maybe I just um, shut up and speed the video up if I can figure out how to do that.
of the present. Okay, so I finally got all the colour down. It looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but I'm just going to go ahead with my um, paint pen here. And after I've done that, I'm going to give it a coat of varnish. So I'm just going to give these an outline which will make them look a lot uh, more tidier and a lot more funkier. Um, but I'm going to do that off camera because as you can tell, it's getting dark and I, I'm still itching to go, so I'm going to do that and then I'm just going to uh, show you the finished product when uh, it's done. Ta-da! So here it is, lime work all done and varnished and would you believe it, after uh, finishing this project I suddenly remembered I actually had this Lazy Susan board. Oh well, <laughs> now, I, now I know I have it, but uh, it's super handy for uh, showing you the pot. You can see it nicely. And I already have a plant ready to go for it. I've just repotted it because, well, the pot it was in was uh, a little bit too small and it was getting pot bound. So I've just upsized the pot. And I think he's the perfect plant to go in here. And there he is. Doesn't that look awesome? It just suits the pot so well with that funky um, cactusy look. Um, I'm not quite sure which plant this is. I know it's a succulent. It's not a cactus because um, these aren't spines, these are actually the beginnings of new baby shoots, so there's no spines at all. It just looks like a cactus, but it's it's not. So, um, still looking for an ID for this guy, if uh, anyone can help me out here. But yeah, he looks amazing in there. The pot looks cool. I'm really happy with it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed um, watching me paint anyway peeps um thanks for watching as always it's much appreciated much love and i'll see you in the next video bye bye